Hey everyone, Nick here, and a hundred years ago, Albert Einstein predicted that gravitational waves exist. And until now, they were undetectable. Now while the discovery, which is just this sound, is so simple, it has huge implications. And it was actually the detection of two massive black holes colliding almost a billion light years away. Now, what does this mean? Well, for one, if you've seen Interstellar, all of that funky science might actually finally have some backing, and it also confirms a whole lot about Einstein's theory and our modern understanding of black holes. Let's check it out. All right, so where does Einstein fit into all of this? Well, the last bit of his theory of relativity that was unconfirmed was the existence of gravitational waves. Einstein argued that any movement of mass, no matter how small or large, created ripples of gravitational frequencies. Now, the only problem is that gravity is a fairly weak force to detect, and so only the instances where you have objects of huge, and I mean huge mass colliding or rubbing against each other, create some sort of detection. Well, this is where all of the black hole speculation comes in. Now to think that two black holes could collide with one another is downright ridiculous for two reasons. One, because an event like that is so unlikely, and two, what would it even look like? Well, for one, it did happen almost a billion light years away, and two, the black holes did exactly the opposite of what we had expected. Traditionally, we'd think that the black holes would collide and rip each other apart from what we've all learned in elementary school, but actually they ended up orbiting each other, and they spun around each other and got faster and faster until at the very end, they merged. And these merges have inner rotations that take place at almost half the speed of light, and obviously create unimaginable ripples in space-time and gravity, ones which are so large that planet Earth can detect. The LIGO experiment in Washington, which is a joint collaboration between MIT and Caltech, is one such effort to detect gravitational waves. Essentially, they have two monstrous L-shaped arms which are 2.5 miles long, and each of them has mirrors which help amplify its sensitivity to any change in gravitational potential. How big of a change? Well, if you pass anything that's greater than the width of a proton through the tunnel, then the arm can detect it and pick up on it. Likewise, they did much of the same measuring when the black holes collided and they deducted that one black hole was 29 times heavier than the sun and the other was a monstrous 62 times heavier. All right, so now what does this mean for all of us? Well, for one, it finally means that we can think of gravity as this concrete principle that transcends both light and time. And while I don't think you should go looking for answers immediately and seeing how this dynamic of space-time could help us, we need to appreciate the fact that some of the biggest scientific minds out there have predicted stuff like this and it's taken almost a hundred years to prove it. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.